Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install rigid collars on a Honda S2000. There are a lot of great videos that discuss the purpose of rigid collars, but none that cover the installation in great detail, so I hope you'll find this helpful. I'm installing the Manzo rigid collars, but the process should be the same for Spoon and other brands. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is get the car on jack stands and remove the wheels. Before lowering the front subframe, you will need to loosen the steering rack couplers. Use a sharpie and make a reference mark along the lower steering joint onto the steering rack shaft. This will be used to ensure that the steering rack is aligned to the steering wheel later. After making the reference mark, use a 10mm socket and an extension to loosen the upper steering joint bolt and remove the lower steering joint bolt. These bolts are located at different angles, so you may need to turn the wheel in order to rotate the shaft. Once the upper bolt is loosened and the lower bolt is removed, slide the steering rack coupler completely off and away from the steering rack shaft. Now you need to lower the front subframe. The front subframe has six bolts that secure it to the frame, three on each side. If your car is an AP2, all six of these bolts will require a 19mm socket. If your car is an AP1, the rearmost bolts will require a 17mm socket, while the other four bolts will require a 19mm socket. Place a floor jack underneath the subframe and support the subframe with a piece of wood. I personally used a 2x6 that was 22 inches long. Once the subframe is supported, remove the middle bolts on each side of the subframe. Both of these bolts are simply too short to be used to lower the subframe. Next, back out the four remaining subframe bolts roughly 30 millimeters. Once the bolts are backed out, you can slowly lower the floor jack and thus the subframe until it is resting safely on those backed out bolts. At this point, you're ready to start installing the rigid collars. The rigid collars will come in two different sizes. In my kit, these were identified by A and B collars. The A collars go onto the four forwardmost bolts, which are the thicker ones, while the B collars go onto the two rearmost bolts, which are thinner. Start with the middle collars as there is no bolt there. Lather the top side and bottom side of the collars with copper grease and then slot the rigid collar into the subframe bolt holes. If you're ever confused about which side the rigid collar is up and which side is down, just know that the collars are wider on the bottom. Now you need to do the four corners of the subframe. Tackle these one at a time by using a socket to remove the bolt. Install the greased rigid collar into place and then add some copper grease to the subframe bolt as well. If you do this job by the book, you'll technically need to replace every single subframe bolt, but this appears to be unnecessary in practice. Tighten the respective subframe bolt until it reaches the bottom of the subframe while ensuring that the rigid collar stays on the subframe. One thing to note here is that you should feel little to no resistance when reinstalling these bolts. If you do feel some resistance, you should remove the bolt, clean the threads, and then reinstall it. 
Once you've got all the rigid collars in place, you're ready to raise the subframe back into place. Carefully tighten the four subframe bolts a little bit at a time in an effort to evenly raise the subframe into place. As the top of the rigid collars meet the bottom of the frame, you're going to want to ensure that the rigid collars align into the frame cleanly. Use a 19mm socket to reinstall the two middle bolts into the frame of the car. Once all the bolts are in place, torque the four forwardmost bolts to 85 foot-pounds, then torque the two rearmost bolts to 43 foot-pounds. Now that the subframe is back in place, you can reinstall the steering rack couplers. Rotate the steering rack until the coupler is aligned with the steering rack shaft and slide the coupler onto the steering rack shaft. Once aligned, use a 10 mm socket and an extension to tighten the upper coupler bolt and reinstall the lower coupler bolt. Torque the two bolts to 16 foot pounds. And that is it for the front rigid collars. In my next video, I'll show you how to install the rear rigid collars and finish this job.